Ladies and gentlemen, here we have a $1 flea market fishing reel, a $100 Bass Pro Shop fishing reel, and behind me, we have a $1,000 Japanese Daiwa fishing reel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome up here to the Fishing with Yakai YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit this video with a thumbs up and subscribe. We are on the road to half a million subscribers by the end of the year. Yes, you heard that correct. This is a $1,000 Daiwa Japanese baitcaster. I didn't even know they made these things like this. Between the cost of this reel, uh, taxes, and international shipping, it was like $997. So I hope it's worth $997 because we are here to do some fishing today. Trey, come zoom in on this real quick. Yeah, I was reading that. Use only in Japan. <laughs> we're not. Oh. We're not in Japan. So uh, in fact, we are in this beautiful, hot, moist, humid state of Florida. So uh, I don't know if we're already breaking the rules. Hyper drive design, intelligent mag force, TWS, ATD, Daiwa connecting system. Dude, I don't even know. I really don't even know. I just, I don't even know where to begin with this reel. I, myself, tell me if I'm wrong. Have you ever seen a, this is a bass fishing baitcaster, not an okay. offshore saltwater reel. Yeah. Not like a Van Stahl or something. This is a bass fishing baitcaster. Have you ever seen a thousand dollar bass fishing bait? Cause I have not. I, ooh, it depends. I remember you did buy a Daiwa, uh, the I am Steve, the, the Steve's Steve. is like, like 900. Seven, I thought like it was like 750, right? It's, how much is a tray? Is it, I think it's like a $900. I thought it was like 759 when we I bought it. Steve's is like 600. Really? It exists, and it exists spinning reels like 800. Okay, so this may this. actually be like the, the most expensive in the Holy world, smoke. bass fishing specific fishing reel. We're not talking, like I said, saltwater offshore, van stall, stuff like that. Those can get in the thousands and you get the electric reels and they're in the tens of thousands. But anyways, enough of that. I am excited to bust this bad boy open. Norm, this came in the mail the other day, and Trey told me not to open it until we got here with you. All right, I'm ready to see so it. You do the honors. Oh, for real? You got it. Oh, snap. Now you can go ahead. Dude, I remember, the, I remember the Daiwa box. Dude, Trey. bust that thing <laughs> open. I've been waiting to open this for days, Norm. Literally days. All right, here Eight. we go. Uh-oh. Uh, we got instructions that we're not gonna use. <laughs> That's in a different language. We don't need that. Oh snap, dude, it's like unboxing an iPhone. Oh, Ooh, it comes oh, with that envelope? envelope? And I'll, Hold wait, up, wait, 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 wait. Let's open that first. Is dude, that it's real heavy, that is. <laughs> yeah, I know. Is that it, comes, it comes with the black Daiwa yeah. envelope. That Tell me that's not heavy. You just picked that up. That is yeah, that's, a heavy that's like a, envelope. I'm actually like legit interested in what... Is it nothing special? Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a uh, thanks for buying the most. Yeah, I thought you were gonna get like a hundred dollar off your next reel thing or something. That's what I thought it was gonna be. IMZ Limit Breaker TW HDC and all. That's the only thing I can read on it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my <laughs> that's like a verification yeah. thing, like like some hype shoes or something. Well, we got excited for nothing, dude. I'm gonna double check just to make sure. Is, is it just like instructions? I think so. It may actually. Be oh, it's the it's the parts. Look at that, like. That Gosh, there's a USB-C on it? Oh, wow, that's actually, that's, uh -oh. yeah, wow. So where'd you get this? Was this like so a- Amazon Japan. Like it was, it was weird. I saw, I saw somebody using that reel on Ooh. TikTok. You plug yeah, it up to the wall. That's type A, type C cord. Wow. It has Bluetooth. Bluetooth. <laughs> no way. Oh, goodness gracious. This is about to be bougie. I mean, it would it better be for a thousand dollars for no, like for sure. Oh, it's, okay, so definitely put your hooks on the reel. <laughs> Is that that's what that means, doesn't it? Oh, it even has like a little Daiwa um, open and closey spinny thingy, little, little little line twisty thingy. All right, I just completely ruined that. All right, <laughs> <laughs> dude, break that thing. Open. We ready? I'm yeah. open right under here. Oh yeah, I see like a casing already. Three. Two, one, blah, blah, the casing. Oh. It comes, oh dude, it's like squishy. It's, it has like a, definitely a nice like reel cover on it. It definitely does. And on Is the bottom, the charger? little charger. <laughs> you can also use for your GoPro. Yeah. Oh, ooh. free ooh. GoPro. Oh look, you buy one, get one. Free <laughs> GoPro battery charger. I wonder if this case it comes with protects the reel. Oh, stop that. Oh God, that's sketchy. I'm not gonna lie, the bag could be nicer though. That's nice. Look at that handle. That's, a, that's some power right there. Norm, oh my 
break that bad girl open. Oh, it's like it's got a weird color to it, man. I've never see, seen a real like this. I see yet. like a little side piece. Ooh. All right, here she comes. What's nice about the Daiwa like high end reels though is they come with these like little protectors. So yeah. the only thing that's a bummer is I don't think you can use them when they're on the rod. You have to use them. Yeah, you can gotta you take store them, them maybe. Yeah, yeah. just to travel keep them maybe. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, my God. oh, that is a big son of a gun. Holy smokes, that's wide, dude. dude that's smooth. Feel it. <laughs> I feel bad for even touching, bro. This that field. is. Put it in your palm and look how big that is. A oh massive. God. That is a bait caster. Holy smokes, dude. That is crazy. That thing looks like it could hold like a thousand yards of line on it. It's got a deep spool. That is. A yes. hefty boy. It, it reminds is, me of the uh, Shimano, like the, what is it? Monster the, uh, Drive? No, no it's the, the, it's like um, the Metanium, right? The, the color, the, yeah, the Metanium. Yeah, yeah it's like exactly Dude, that the is a version. beautiful reel. What's that button do? Is that the... Oh, what if you... you Just gotta... read the instructions, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. Maybe hold it down and see what happens. It vibrated. Oh, <laughs> it vibrated, dude. Are you serious? Put it, it on the vibrated. truck so we can try to be able to hear it if it vibrates again. Let's see. What in the world? <gasps> you seen this? You seen that? No, the I didn't. spool move. Okay, my TikTok is just unhealthy for our bank accounts. Hundred <laughs> yeah, percent. It might be dead. I wonder if it has to come charged. I, I, mm. Maybe we put it on the charger for like five minutes. Why, I, I'm curious. It's like, is that the charging port right there? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the charging port. Oh my! I don't know. I don't. I, I'm not even kidding you when I tell you this. I don't know anything about this reel, other than the only thing I know about it is it does have some sort of light on it that works but we may have to throw it on the charger in trey's truck because we're here fishing today the boat's over there but we may have to plug it up for like five minutes while we get everything else lined up do y'all think we should do that i think so oh, most right. definitely yeah. i'm trying to figure out where the lights come off of this thing i don't i think that light that's a light bar i right think here. that right oh there. that's like, kind of sweet actually a light bar i i get it now that is pretty crazy if that actually works and lights up dude talk about night fishing dude with Ooh. this thing that would be crazy yeah, I think we plug it in and see if it works. I wonder how bright it's gonna be if we're gonna be able to see it in the daylight or not. Yeah, it is pretty bright out here. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna plug it up real quick. We're gonna get everything else lined up and then we'll see you guys here on the water in just one minute. All right, boys, reels off charger. We're almost done getting rigged up. What do we got? Let's see. All right, should light up. I'm just gonna hold it down. There it goes. Oh, snap! Oh, it's got yeah. my <laughs> oh dang! Okay, I, maybe I need to hold it down longer. I wonder how long you need to charge a fishing reel. I hope if the oh my god, it's bro, a fishing reel with lights on it, it actually works. <laughs> That's so crazy. My question is though, like, what do the lights do? What does it mean when it blinks? I might have to like really. Oh, it's blue now. Switch it. See if you can click it again. Oh, Ooh. now it's beeping. Okay, now it's like, I don't know what that means. Bro, that's why. Oh, I heard a beep. Yeah, it's just beeping every time I click it, and there's it's like less lower light. And lower, lower, and lower. Yeah. Oh, so you can just change how like light it is. Okay, so now this is my thing. It says... <laughs> oh, it's green. It's, it's green, green now? now. Yeah. Oh wait, is this like a? I don't know if I had an where it changed colors. Push again. I don't know. No way, it died. Hold it, like click. It oh, I wonder if blue. You know how I said I had Bluetooth. Okay, so maybe like a connect. Oh, there's yeah, green. Yeah, there's green. Dude, so it says HDC right here. So I'm wondering, is does that mean it is a DC style fishing reel or is that a Shimano exclusive thing? Because I, I just don't Wait, know. Wait, oh yeah, you hear that? hear that? I just clicked the bill. Wait, now it's not doing it. Okay, this is gonna be weird. You, yeah, you hear it doing it. It's doing something. No way that this is like how you set the... The tension? Tension. I'll study up on my Japanese and figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know, but it looks like there's different settings where you can like set it. Like, I wonder if that's the, it's like changing something in the reel. It's not just like light aesthetics. I think this is like changing the function of the reel. Dude, no. let's get some line on it. Let's get some line on it and get out on the boat and figure it out on the water. Cause that is actually, it's making noises. It's lighting up. 
freaking crazy. I M Z I M Z H or wait I M Z X H T W H D C limit breaker. Good. Been to break these limits out here. Yeah, we don't call this a limit breaker for nothing, baby. That is a freaking massive reel. It made a R two D two noise as I was pulling it up, and it almost freaked me out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it looks. I don't even know, dude. It's I, very large. Yeah. What is it? What is that word right there? Hyperdrop. 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 I wonder what that even means. Ah, <laughs> uh, it means it's uh. It drops hyperly. Hyper, hyper hyperactive fishing reel. Hyperactive light up limit breaking driven. I mean, look at that knob right there. That's some serious power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel. What was the? How, what do you think the spool size is on it? Because I, I can't read the box. So I like a. It, the equivalent of like a 100 maybe really yeah. i thought it was like a 200 maybe 300. no it's it's not a very large oh, okay so it's just a really big reel yeah. i wonder if it's just all the components inside of the reel probably like the the lights and the computer and everything else in there yeah big boy fishing reel right there oh, hopefully we're gonna catch them you know what it looks like it looks like a tranks like a tranks 400 yeah. size but the With spool is small yeah but the spool is small okay Kind of crazy. Look at Norm rigging oh. perfection right there. Rigging to perfection. Perfect. Just a little speed crawl on there. Yeah, Dang, baby. Bro. Okay. You going with the speed crawl first I'm up? Saying. I figured so. I've never thrown it out here, and I, yeah. I know we don't like throw worms and stuff. So like, yeah, you know I'm gonna start with. Uh, Dude, I actually might try to do this, the little plasma tail thing, just to see how this, see how it works. We'll, we got a whole bag of stuff, so I like the color on this too. It's got like the chartreuse tip on it. <gasps> Yeah, I did that earlier. Trey killed me. I did not do that. I was just did that myself too. It's like big in an uncomfy way. <laughs> like in my hand, I'm gonna have to get used to this. It's that's weird feeling for sure. Yeah. What is it like loose, loose, or you got it kind of you got it? No, I got I got her good like good. It's just the, the size of the reel. Yeah. But the uh I, I got the settings. I think good. I don't know. I don't know what the light means. I feel like that has something to do with internal braking. I don't know if I'm at the max or at the minimum, but I guess we'll figure that out. But yeah, we'll figure it out as we go. I do like the handles though. It's pretty cool, huh? It's just so wide and I feel like because it has electronics in it, there's so much space used for that. Yeah. That I could definitely see that would be a reason as to why that would be so big. There's like it's gigantic. Yeah, it really is. Look, is it comparable to like, I mean, look at how much smaller this one Holy is. Holy smokes, I did not realize it was that big. It like doesn't, it almost do, doesn't feel like it should go like on a normal rod. I feel like you need like a, like Bigger. a big boy set up. Yeah, interesting. It, holy smokes. Oh, well, all right, well, let me, uh, I'll turn the truck off and we'll get the crank. Everybody got everything out here we need. We got more hooks right here. We need these trailer No, No, we got plenty. You good to go? Buck. Walking to the ah. pond, going fishing with the boys. Put the keys right here, Trey. Hi, Dan. Oh, oh. Did you backlash it? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna see if it. Oh, that's about right. Yeah. I was gonna see if it like automatically stops it or something. <laughs> Imagine that. That would be actually insane. I kind of want to go lose a tournament with this reel. Dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> All right, boys. One dollar versus a hundred versus a thousand. May the best fisherman win. <laughs> and if you don't catch a fish on a thousand dollar fishing reel, then I, you should probably just quit fishing. Are you yeah. the biggest fish, most no, fish? No, dude, I, the... I, in all honesty, like, I just, I really just want to catch a fish on a thousand dollar reel to see if that reel is actually Jeez, worth it. Trip. All right. <laughs> we would do a big fish challenge, but we also forgot the scale. Mm, like always, yeah, it's, it's good. So I guess we can turn it into a numbers game. Take All this. Right. Do we not oh need that? Oh gosh. I feel like we definitely might need that. You think so? Nets are for sissies. Nets are for sissies. Yeah, let's get in the water. Ladies and gentlemen, today we partner with DraftKings and I've got something special for you fantasy football freaks like myself. Everyone nowadays stays so busy that sometimes they forget to manage their fantasy teams. Oh, DraftKings best ball solves that problem. Draft your team once at the beginning of the season. In a snake draft and you can kiss roster management goodbye. Let's go. oh. I don't know how I'm gonna lift oh. Each week you'll rack up points from the top scorers on your team. DraftKings Best Ball has a $10 million prize pool. The largest best ball contest ever. 
To start playing best ball, download the DraftKings app and sign up using code YAKPACKDFS. That's too easy. Each week, you'll rack up points from all your top scorers. No ads, drops, trades, or I should have played him instead. You'll be able to enjoy the fantasy football action without having to manage your team. The team with the most points at the end of the season will take home the $1 million top prize. I don't know where that was going. Download the DraftKings app today and use promo code YAKPACKDFS when signing up. Thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the regular content. <laughs> I zigged when I should have zagged on that. All right, let me get everything rigged up back here while these goons begin fishing. We just bought this battery at Walmart. Norm, watch it not work, dude. It'll be tragic. Oh, it's beeping. First cast, how'd it feel? If, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it feels smooth. Like, that's the thing with like the super high end reels is they almost start feeling too smooth. You know, like. You can't even feel it working, it's so smooth. Yeah, I, I don't know if I really like that or not. I kind of like, like the. A little crunch in your reels? Yeah, I kind of like the just authentic crunch, you know? Yeah. Definitely get what you're feeling. It's like almost too nice. Too nice for your. Uh, I don't, know, like I don't it. know what they call that. I don't even know how far I can cast this thing. Ooh, ooh. Beep, beep, beep. Did you drag set, Norm? Gosh, yeah, uh, kind of. The drag star doesn't like really move forward or backwards. That's really. interesting. It's like a very hard drag system. Oh no, bro, it really don't work. You got the positive and negatives right? Yeah, 100%. You for real? I'm dead serious, bro. It, everything's tight? Connections are tight? Yeah, it's tight. Hmm. Uh-oh, boys. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Let's prank. <laughs> Four doesn't work, though. That's weird. Yeah. Reverse works. But Ford does not. Are you sure they're on the right ones? <laughs> Are you positive? <laughs> uh, red's positive, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the right ones. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What are you throwing, Trey? I'm throwing those old trusty Senko. Oh, it's fully charged. Like, the reverse is super strong in this yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, looks I like we reverse reversing just, uh, through these things. I guess we'll just have to drive like this. <laughs> Ain't nothing old El Capitan can't figure out. Yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out why it's acting crazy. Or I could just pull us around the pond, I guess. It wasn't broke last time, was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not <laughs> what's supposed to happen. It was cold. Oops. <laughs> Dude, I, did not dude. That I just turn around and I just see water all over your face. I guess we're just gonna go backwards, boys. <laughs> I mean, that's all. It's our only option, kinda. I definitely just got the back boat. It's the swaparoo. We just won't be able to do as much traveling around today as I assumed we would. Oh, $100 reel, first to backlash. Gosh, why do we never bring braid? We're such idiots every time. Yeah, we're bogged down already. God dang, man. Oh my goodness, I got a bass! <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I got one, dude. What? Oh. Where did he come from? I don't know. <laughs> the water, actually. That was a dumb question, TJ. Uh, yeah, did you know you had a fish? That's what I meant to say. No, I did not. Wow. Ooh. There, Garth Brooks and the Thunder <laughs> Rolls. Little sound effects. All right, dude, this really is is tough. All we need to do is get over way over there to that open spot, but we have a reverse trolling motor that bogs down when you get into this stuff. I got a bass. It's not good. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. Trey does have a bass. How about that? Nice little fish, Trey. First fish of the day for Trey. Definitely looking for some upgrades. Last time we was here, I caught two four pounders. So two. let's hope uh, let's hope we can duplicate that today. I caught a four ouncer. Yeah, I don't even know if that was being generous. <laughs> Oh, 
Why is all this grass dead? <sighs> Welcome to the jungle! Maybe we fish here for a second, boys. All right. What do y'all think? I'm cool with it. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. I got the little bio spawn. Uh, or wait, yeah, bio spawn, right? Yeah, plasma tail. I do like the plasma I tail. I do too. I like that and the the exo stick. I think it is. Yeah, the that's the stick. Dude, they make a really good craw. The. Uh, Bile crawl. No. Yeah. Is that mm -hmm. it? They got a really good grub too. It's like a good trailer. Is no, it's, trailer? A, it's a thousand Exopod. fish that makes a good one. They're uh, the saw craw. You know what I'm talking about? We I were do. Jacksonville yeah, yeah. and we were smoking them yeah. on the saw craw. I remember that. Ah, sure, dude. I put on a little speed worm just because this hook is a little bit too big for the old speed crawl. Speed crawl. Speed. That's Wait, speed what do you crawl. have on? Do you have a speed uh, worm on? No, I got the uh, vowel or the uh, what's called? I just got bite. No, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, the, plasma tail. Yeah, you just said that. My bad. Bro, I don't know about trade. I can't wait to put my hands on that freaking thousand dollar reel. I don't think I've ever even fished with a thousand dollar reel. I fish with like a Stella and stuff, but that's like offshore, like where reels are supposed to be. Yeah, they're supposed to crazy, be crazy, crazy expensive and good. Like they installs, but never a, a bass fishing specific bait caster. I don't that's... even think I fished for the van stall. No, I have. It was weird. It don't have a bail. It's quick. quick. Got yeah. that rapid fire on it. Yeah, it's like wow. hard to explain. What do you think so far, Norm? What's your thoughts on the the thousand dollar reel? I mean, we've only been fishing for twenty minutes or so, but yeah what's your it's just like it's smooth like for sure and it's big I, I guess those would be my main two takeaways it's like there's almost like not a comfortable way to hold this with your hands i don't i don't really i like switching my hand around from like here to up here not even holding the reel it's just like a it's not comfy like it gotcha yeah, yeah yeah that's weird like i prefer like honestly the reel you have i think yeah. Like size wise, it fits the hand better. Yeah. This is just unnatural. I think it looks cool though. All right, so at the, I mean, you got, you know, specifically you and Trey too. You guys talk about it throughout the video, but at the end of the video, save it for the end. Give me your no BS, is it worth $1,000 at the end of the video? I'll save it for the end, but I already know my answer. I know my answer too. <laughs> already, Trey? Yeah, 100%. Just from, I know my answer just from holding it at, the tailgate's pulling it up. I already know my answer. There you go, Trey. There you go, Trey. Oh, good, good job. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What do we have here, boys? I also don't like how this rod sits right near my face I also hole. don't like how hard this is to catch Is it a big fish. one? Oh, no. Oh, do I still have him? You do? Oh, you got him? Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. boy, Trey. Hydrilla, not so gorilla. Anything is possible. <laughs> Let's go. Fish number two, slight little upgrade. It's upgrade season. Hey, I'd like to give a shout out to El Capitan. This wouldn't be possible <laughs> if it wasn't for his rowing efforts. Got us around the fish. Through the thicks and the thins. Who's going to paddle the boats? Oh, no! No way! No! There she is. First one on the $1,000 reel, baby. I thought it was gonna like do a party for me or something, start lighting up. Come on! Well, dude. I'll click the button for us. Double speed. Hey! <laughs> it's a party, it's a party. The hey. double trouble, baby. Let's go. Got them doubles off the rip. Kablam. Good Let's job, go. boys. Scoo! See ya! Oh. oh, there we go. That felt good. I was just like, mine's still on the bottom. I was like, it's sinking for a while because my line kept moving. I was like, it's not that deep there. Dude, wait a minute, Norm. Hold up, dog. Y'all listen. I know y'all see that vein in Norm's arm right now. That boy Jack. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Ooh. That boy. Ooh. <laughs> that boy been working out. And my stomach got bigger too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, the $100 fishing reel has two fish on it. The $1,000 reel has one fish on it, and I just took my first cast after paddling about 40 yards. <laughs> <laughs>
Dude, I think if we, once we get to that deep area over there, I mean, I think it's gonna be our best fishing grounds. I think it could only get better. I think so. I would agree with that. This water is not as clear as it normally is either. Yeah, it's also been like a record hot, I feel like, in the last like, multiple weeks. No, it I definitely mean, has. It legit was, uh, NASA did a study this last month in July. It was the hottest month ever recorded on the surface of the Earth. Holy fuck. This may be hot. This is this weather. In this weather, around. they just don't bite yeah. very good yeah. anywhere, period. How private you are. Yeah. I really wonder, like, how everybody else is doing fishing right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, every single person that watches clearly likes fishing. Uh, to some extent, like if they've been out fishing, like how do you think they're doing? Do you think it's uh, not catching them? Right now is the perfect time to be up north. That's the only place yeah. you're catching fish right now is up north. If you're in New York, you're catching 80 a day right now. <laughs> One of my buddies is, that's in New York right now. He sent me a snap the other morning. It's 48 degrees. And it's like 75 through the, throughout the day. And it's like 175 here. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. oh my God. That's, that's oh huge. Oh my God. Oh, Gray. That is huge. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a snake. 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 Oh. What well, don't is? bring them to us. Don't bring them to Don't bring them <laughs> in the freaking no! boat. Oh, it's an alligator. Oh, oh dude. It's a gator. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, stop, stop slinging them like that, Trey. <laughs> don't bring them closer. No, I'm going to bring him in the boat. No, nah, don't do that. Why? That thing's got rabies. He's hissing at us. Dude, I've never in my life seen an alligator here. That's an alligator. That is, in fact, a gator, boys. Oh, oh he's goodness. absolutely blew up on my fluke. Holy smokes. Okay, so what do we do now? Do we catch him? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, I Trey, 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 Trey. No, don't put him no, in the Trey, boat. No, Trey, I'm don't. so for real. <laughs> chill out on that. I don't want. Don't put him in the boat. I don't yeah. know how to. Uh... Yeah, cut that line, dude. Oh, oh we don't no, have snippies. Dude. Norm, you. Norm, you're no, a you don't. Man, no, dude. don't. You, no, I'm not. I'm not going to. <laughs> Bring him. Come over this way. The thing's got so many diseases, dude. Yeah. Scoot him over this way a little bit so I can see. Oh my god. I'm gonna gosh. try to just get the hooks. Don't flip in the boat though. That's a that's a freaking monster freaking problem. Where's right mama? Here you go, right here. Yeah, this is a monster problem right here. I know, buddy. Just chill. I got you. Where'd them scissors go? Do we know? No, we need to locate those. Okay. Oh. Uh, if I could find the scissors. I know, dude. What the heck? Bro, that's actually, so like, everywhere in Florida, you always treat the water as if there's an alligator in it. But like, me and Norman fished here probably like a thousand times. Okay, realistically, probably like a hundred, for real. And never <laughs> one time seen an alligator, seen a sign of an alligator, nothing. Dude, I think that the way it looks like you got him hooked is like, he's kind of like barely hooked. I guess he barely got it, so. Just cut it, maybe? I we think just, so. Uh, yeah, I think we just cut it and the hook will fall out. I mean, that's what they do with sharks and everything, I think. I just don't know where the, uh, I don't know where the freaking snippies are. I can cut it with my teeth. I'll cut it from here. Gosh, he's looking right at you. I'm going to kiss you in the mouth. Mm. Okay, this is what we're going to do. That hook will fall out of your mouth, I promise. Cause you're an alligator and you're a freaking dinosaur. So look. Ooh, you are not happy, huh? Okay, well, I'm gonna let you go. And you just go about your business. There, you're free, buddy. You're free. <laughs> you're free, buddy, go ahead. Go, it'll come out of your mouth, I promise. Oh, too late. That scared me. I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was gonna jump in here. Oh, dang it. There I he goes. Fishing line. Let me see. Dude, do you know how many times we've thrown popper, not poppers specifically, but like frogs and like zoomed a freaking uh, a fluke or a speed worm over top of these lily pads? 
Yeah. And then come up with a freaking gator. That actually blows my mind. That's literally the one of 1,000 chances. Yeah. I, it, it probably doesn't make too much sense for everybody like that's watching this. Like, oh, you guys are in Florida. Like, there's alligators everywhere. Like, well, I, We've I say never... that, but I, I just, I've been here so many times and never seen one. So, I don't know. Pretty cool. Pretty crazy. Also, don't play with the wildlife, kids, or adults, or anyone, unless your name is Stax. <laughs> I bet, I bet you some uh, lakes dried up around here for real. That's probably why he's in here. You think so? I, I've fished here since high school. Never seen one. Yeah. And normally, like once lakes start drying up, they you know they move. They, they, find, yeah, water. they find new water. Yeah. And uh, I mean that's a baby. Yeah. So yeah, I mean you would think you'd see big mama in here, and I never have. So that's wild, bro. I don't know. And summer is the time that all the gators are moving because yep. that's when all the lakes dry up. So that and it's hot and they're reptiles and they love the heat. And yep. This is the one of the very few spring fed lakes around town that uh that holds water. So yeah, even though this one's full, that doesn't mean the one right next door is not completely dry. Facts, dude. What do y'all think about switching up? What? No, no, no. Yeah. I'll take it. Like 10 minutes. And... <laughs> I think we should switch it because if we end up catching another one that's like somebody else doesn't get this, it's going to be like, dang, we just wasted a fish catch. The time has come, Norm. We're trading reels. I'm going to 100 trays, going to 1,000. Let's go. Got the chartreuse fluke on, baby. Not switching it. Oh my God. This is so much lighter. Holy smokes. Yeah, this is insanely heavy and I'm on blue mode right now. <laughs> Oh, what do you think about it, Trey? First cast with it, what do you think? Uh oh. It cast as far as I thought it was going to. Ooh, that's not good. Dang, dude, I was used to the thousand dollar reels backlash first cast. Good job, Norm. <laughs> <You're doing great. laughs> also, Dang. not to mention, we're, we're all three crossed right now. I don't know how that happened. Oh, we really are. Oh, all three crossed. <laughs> well, yeah, all of our lines are crossed everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, very, very smooth retrieve. Very smooth. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Well, that's good to hear at least. That was not real, doesn't cast that good, but it, it retrieves. It retrieves. Nice. Maybe Norm just has the boost settings on. I don't know what color mode to put it in, to be honest with you. You just take that spool tension knob and you loosen it all the way up. That's how you this cast the backlash it. right here. <laughs> Impossible, I don't backlash. Ooh. But I got like three backlashes on GoPro already. <laughs> Norm, I get what you're saying, how there's no comfortable way to hold this at all. Yeah, it's not really like a fit in hand thing. And I got like medium to large size hands, I'd say. And it I have small to still medium don't hands and it just doesn't quite work. Let's go that way. Which way? That way, towards it's the shade. I mean, Frick it. That's really all we got left. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. he doesn't really have like any time. So like if I come with all the stuff, yeah, then we can just you know, go for it. And I ordered everything thinking a 1v1. So I only got two reels, which sucks. Ooh, there what you go, Trey. There you oh, go, Trey. I got a fish. I got a fish. Oh, there you oh, go, Trey. I got a fish. Woo! Let's go. Oh. Oh, that is the ugliest fish I think I've ever caught in my life. Dude, that thing's oh. stomach is coming out of his back. Dude, what is going on with this fish? Holy smokes. Oh. That was on the $1,000 reel? Yeah, Let's my very go. first fish on the $1,000 reel is a unique one. Unique fish with a unique reel. Interesting. Um, that fish, like... Ooh. It just doesn't look good. <laughs> he literally has no meat on his bones at all. Like, I don't know if you could see. Oh, oh God, I about done it right there. <laughs> I don't know if the camera really does this fish justice, but there he's literally like, there is no meat on his bones at all. He is paper thin, so thin, like. Oh my gosh. Oh, Norm, get Oh gosh, oh, I'm sorry, Trey. Oh it's all no, good. dude. Dang. He's so thin. Like, that was such a, such a soft bite and such a light fish. He needs to eat. Yeah, big time. Well, we'll get you back, buddy. Catch you next time. Thanks for biting. Been a super tough day. So you go a long way. You go a long day. What? <laughs> you go a long way on a super tough day of fishing. Super hot, super slow, but super thankful. This bite right here. See ya. I wanna see ya in a Kia. How the real feel? Oh good.
Felt really good. Well, Trey, you and Norm got to fish with the uh, $1,000 bait caster today. Though fishing was very tough and it sucked. We did a lot of casting. We did a bunch of casting. That, we definitely did that. What do you think? I think we should definitely run this video back. What do you think, Norm? We definitely run it back? Oh, for sure. I mean, now that you got it, I mean, I'm going to be trying to fish with that every single time we don't got to fish with a different reel. If it's just we're going fishing, I'm going to try to be stealing your combo. So we for sure got to run it back with it. It's just so hot out. I mean, yeah. it's like 102 degrees. It was 109 was like the feel like yesterday. So, I mean, these bass, I mean, it's a miracle, honestly, that we caught. What we catch, Trey? Four. Four, four, four and an alligator. Yeah. Yeah, four and a little alligator. I mean, that's a bag. <laughs> that's a bag. The alligator was at least nine pounds. Yeah, and we went to the number spot, too, is where we catch, like, a lot of fish. So, if it's that hard here, I mean, it's probably really tough everywhere else. So, I think we did the best that we could. And at least we're out here having fun. So, so and we had a new reel. And it's kind of cool looking. I'm not going to lie. It is. It's crazy. It just. Aw. I didn't, I don't know, it's just- It's very big. That's my only complaint about it. Everything everything else is super awesome. It looks cool, super smooth. It lights up. I mean, who else is fishing with a reel that lights up? That is true. I mean, literally, my only complaint with it is it's very large and uncomfortable to handle. I wonder if you like make it like a, like kind of like a, oh Whoa. my goodness. <laughs> like if you paired it up right with like a massive like a rig rod or something, if it would kind of make sense. But I feel like it doesn't have enough line capacity to even be an A rig rod. I don't know. It might, but it, then again, it also might not. Yeah. yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are in fact going to run this video back. We're going to put that reel to the test once again. When the fishing gets a little bit better than it is right now, a storm rolled through earlier, as you guys can see back in the distance, and we thought that we were going to come out here and crack them. But also, fun fact, I saw on an Instagram page that I follow called yeah. Wilt. July was the hottest month ever recorded in Earth's history. This past July, like two weeks ago. So that definitely has something to do with, with the fish. This oh, spring fed water right here, this spring fed water right it's here is hot. hot. Yep. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's, uh, you know, I, let me know down in the comments, like I said earlier in the video, how, how has fishing been for you guys wherever you're at? I know I asked that on Instagram the other day. A lot of you guys up north said y'all are killing it. So maybe we take a trip up north. I'd love to. Dude, dude. it's so beautiful up there. And it's crazy because you catch... I feel like more fish up there are like they're less pressured in some areas. Like, I fish. do. I think we should go to New York, honestly. Dude, I'm about it. Bigger fish. Yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be a lot of fun. And it also be like 70 degrees and not 102. That is also a fact. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Let me know what you thought of the thousand dollar reel. We're definitely going to use it again. I promise. Maybe, like Norm just said, maybe we fly to New York. Maybe we go to Maine. Maybe we put it on some big smallmouth, some nicer weather, nicer water, nicer fish. But love you guys. Catch you on next bench. Peace.